Hey traders, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I want to introduce a new indicator called the Donchen Channel. Now, if you read the book Turtle Traders by Richard Dennis and how you know he started an experiment to train up traders using this uh, trend following strategy, uh, you'll know that uh, what they actually did is they actually came up with this uh, indicator called the Donchen uh, Channel Indicator. So let me just introduce to you what uh, this Doncha indicator is and show you how to use it. Okay, it's a very powerful indicator if you know how to use it. So in today's video, I want to show you uh, what it is and how to use it. Now, the Doncha channel, um, if you want to use it, the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to Trading View. Okay, this is a free indicator. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on uh, this indicators and strategies and you just spell it out. All right, Donchen Channel. Just uh, click this one and uh, you should see an indicator such as this. Okay, the length, just put it at 20. Uh, let me just explain to you how does this indicator work. Now, 20 in this case is referring to the high and low. Okay, so it's a Donchen channel. So of course, in the channel, there's the upper band and there's the lower band. So in this picture, or rather in this chart, you can see that you know there is the upper band and the lower band. So this upper band, if you put it at 20, that means that this is the 20 day high and uh, this is the 20 day low. So rather simple, it functions very similarly to the Bollinger Band, but it's slightly different. Okay, Bollinger Band is more like a volatility indicator, but this one is more like a breakout indicator. Okay, so it's a very powerful tool, right? Uh, you can use it. You can use it into your uh, trading strategy. It can help you to uh, uh, filter out your trades, you know, use it as entry trigger or to manage your trades. Okay, I will go into each of these users in, um, you know, in this video. So uh, earlier on, I was saying that this Donchen channel, uh, 20, okay, if you set it at 20 over here, the length, that means that uh, you are trying to plot the 20-day high and the 20-day low. Of course, as price moves, uh, it is going to reflect uh, the, the difference. You know, as price moves, the high and the low is going to change. Now, this is what the original Turtle Traders did, right? The team by uh, Richard Danny steps what they did. Okay, so this is the indicator they created. It's a very powerful indicator that you can see it as a kind of like resistance and support. Okay, it can act as a dynamic support and resistance level uh, when you trade as well. Okay, the next thing that you see in the, this indicator is you so see this orange line. Okay, this orange line is a very simple, uh, you know, how, how they get it is very simple. It's just the average of the high and the low. Okay, so if you do, you know, something like, um, let's say you draw a box between here to here, you'll find that uh, the price, the orange line is sitting in the middle of the box because this is the middle of the range. So this is how uh, the indicator is derived. It's a very simple indicator, okay? But nonetheless, it is a very powerful indicator if you know how to use it. So in today's video, uh, I want to go through the three uses of this, how you can actually use it. So number one, you want to use this uh, indicator to filter out your trade direction. Okay, a lot of you struggle with finding the trade direction, but I know it's not easy, okay, especially if you're new. Some of you uh, watch our videos and you know that our market structure is important, but you still struggle to identify uh, the direction. Should you be buying? Are you in an uptrend? Are you in a downtrend? Are you in a consolidation? You do not have the experience yet. So that is perfectly fine, okay? That's part of trading. You, you takes, it takes time to develop the expertise. So this indicator will help you filter out your direction at a glance, okay? What you want to do is, you want to ask yourself, uh, let's say, let's look at price somewhere around here. You want to ask yourself, is price above or below uh, this uh, middle orange line, okay? So as a general rule of thumb, if price is above it, Okay, let's say uh, this area is price above, you only want to be buying, okay, you do not want to be selling. So at a glance, you know that, okay, I should not be selling, the trend is up, right? Any, any selling is actually counter trend and you shouldn't be trading counter trend if you are not yet profitable as a uh, trader, okay? It's very simple, I think I said this many, many times. If you are not profitable trading with the trend trades, there's really no reason why you should be trading counter trend trades, okay? By the way, if you're enjoying this content so far, really appreciate if you could just like this video, right? Hit the notification bell and the subscribe button because we are on a mission to impact 100,000 traders and we really, really appreciate if you could just help us to get 
there okay also leave a comment down below to let us know if this video is useful right if there's any other content that you like because uh, we want to create content that helps you okay don't just want to create content that we think is important but we want to uh, create content that uh, addresses your problem and help you become a better trader Okay, so the first thing is you want to filter out your direction or rather the first use of the uh, Donchen channel is you want to filter out your direction. Okay, this is very useful if uh, you do not, uh, you can't tell the market structure and you don't really know what to do. Okay, so as a rule of thumb, uh, if price is above, uh, think of it like a moving average. If price is above the moving average or in this case, price above the orange line, then uh, you want to be buying. If it's below, you want to be selling. Okay, that's just a general rule of thumb. Of course, if uh, in this case, um, you know, we are in uptrend and you know price is below the orange line, then uh, you would still want to be buying because uh, the market structure tells you to buy. But this is a very good filter to just tell you at a glance. Okay, so this is assuming, you know, you're not too... Um, experience yet you can't tell the market structure then this is a good tool to use now the second way to use the donchen channel is as an entry trigger now before i go into details about this i think it's very important to uh, mention that uh, please do not just trade off the donchen channel okay what do i mean let's say uh let me just find an example okay let's say uh you you see this see this uh scenario and uh you say oh price made a higher high uh, then the 20 day high and you just buy you blindly buy okay please do not do that uh, indicators are not meant to be used this way okay if you watch our other videos we talk a lot about identifying the overall market context right we have a free day trading guide the links in the description so in that free day trading guide we share a lot about uh, the mpe strategy where you first identify the market condition you look at the price level then you look for a trigger okay that's the way you should approach the market okay at the bare minimum you need to uh, look at these three things okay do not just look at the indicator and say oh um price made a, a close above uh, the 20 day high and just buy okay please uh, try to understand what I'm saying in this video. All right, if something's not clear, just leave a comment down below. I'll address it. I'll do my best. Okay, our team will just look through all your comments. But please do not use this in indicator blindly and say, say something like this. Oh, there's a breakout of the uh, the twenty day high. I'm going to buy straight away. Okay, you do not do that. Okay, you want to apply uh, it in the right context. Okay, so let me show you an example right of how we can use this uh, in the right context. Okay. So let's say uh, in this case, uh, it's very obvious that the euro dollar, let's say somewhere around here, let's say we are trying to enter somewhere here, it's very obvious that the euro dollar is in the uptrend, okay? Uh, no matter how you draw it, you have a high, you have a low, and then you have a higher high and a higher low, okay? If you do not know what I'm saying, right, this concept of higher high and higher lows, please watch our other Forex videos or please get our day trading guide, all this is covered inside, okay? So it's in the uptrend, so your buyers should be to buy. Now you have pyro resistance over here, okay? Uh, this is your market structure and you notice that on this candle over here, let me just clear this so it's clearer for you. On this candle over here, you can see that this is a very good entry trigger. This is a very good breakout trade uh, trigger. Why? Because the trend is up. So if your market condition is up, you want to be buying, correct? That's logical. Now, that's part one of the equation, MPE, okay? Market condition is up, so you want to buy. Next thing you look at is level. So you can see that this was pyro resistance, which was broken on the day chart. It's broken. So price level is here, and then the last thing you need, E, is a trigger. So in this case, your trigger is the breakout of the Donchen uh, channel high. Okay, so you can see that this was a, around the 20 day high and price broke it. So this is how you can actually use this entry trigger. Again, I'm going to re remind you that uh, you do not just want to blindly enter. You don't just want to buy every time a price uh, makes a new high. You know, for example, if you buy over here, you would have lost money. Okay, you want to identify the overall context, right? Look at the higher time frames. Okay, trading is not so simple. Okay, you need to do a lot more than just using an indicator and just blindly trading okay so that's how you use this uh sec or rather that's how that's the second way to use a donjon channel now let me just go through the last one okay let's say uh, you entered the trade over here you can also use a donjon channel as a uh a trade management tool to manage your trade so let's say price keeps going up what you can do is you can monitor for price uh, to break below the uh, orange line, which is the average of the upper and the lower band. Okay, if you want to be more conservative, uh, you could have exited somewhere here when price broke uh, the, the orange line, somewhere around here. 
oh, if you want to be more, you know, relaxed with your uh, trade, you want to give your trade more room to breathe, what you can do is actually look at the lower band. Wait for the lower band to be broken. So in this case, let's say you enter over here and you just write the market, right? Just write the trend and you can see that price has not broken uh, the lower band, which is basically the last 20 days low. So in this case, since it has not broken the 20 day low, you still want to stay in the trade. But what you can do is you can slowly shift your stop loss, shift your stop loss higher and um, you know, maybe put it somewhere around here and slowly just slowly shift it up, shift it up uh, as the market moves in your favor. So these are the three ways you use the Donchen channel. Okay, hopefully this is helpful for you. So as a recap, right, you want to use the Donchen channel uh, to filter out your trade at a glance. Okay, this is not a replacement for um, the other steps of the equation, such as identifying market uh, structure. But you need to use this in tandem. But uh, this Donchen channel is a very good tool to help you uh, identify it. Right, it's not foolproof, but it is a good start. Right, it's kind of like a, a, a lifeboat to those who are struggling to identify market condition. You know, like if let's say you struggle to find out whether it's uptrend, downtrend, consolidation, this tool will help you do just that. Okay, so please make sure you apply this uh, together with the rest of the uh, things that we always say. You know, market structure, price level, entry. Right, you can also use the Don Donchen channel as an entry trigger over here. Okay such as this example over here, but please do not just trade every single uh, break of the Donchen channel, right? Be it uh, to the upside or to the downside, okay? Please understand the price context, right? Please understand what I'm trying to say. And lastly, you can use the Donchen channel to manage your trade and trail your stop loss, right? You can either use the uh, average price of the upper band and lower band and throw it below and wait for price to close below the level to exceed your trade, or you can use the bottom uh, channel, about the lo lower band uh, to manage your trade, okay? So if you are more conservative, you want to lock in more profits, then you can lock in uh, at the uh, middle, the average price. If you want to give your trade more room to breathe and you want to ride trend for a longer time, then uh, you can just wait for price to break uh, the lower band, okay? If not, that's it for this video, right? As always, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. We'd love to help you, right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.